Bum, ba, da, da. Nessa girl. And the Oscar goes to Nacho Black Ass. Chad, they've been blowing up my comments, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my Facebook, asking me what I feel about the Oscar snubs that have gone to black movies and black actors, and I'll tell you something. I don't think absolutely nothing. Girl, I been stuck canning what white people think about me long time ago. I suggest y'all hoes do too. I'm telling you, it will make your life a whole lot better. I told y'all ass back in 2014 that the Oscar committee was made up of 94% Caucasian people. So what the hell else what the hell else did y'all expect when a committee is 94% white? Like girl bad. And you know what? So now what has brought this issue to the forefront is Aunt Bev, the black Aunt Bev, with her bitter ass, and Jada Pinkett, the white Jada Pinkett, with her bitter ass. Two bitter hoes complaining about the Oscars. Both have a point. Both points exist mutually exclusive of one another, and here it goes. Now, first and foremost, I will say this. Of the two mind frame or two school of thoughts, I totally agree with Jada Pinkett. Fuck white people, fuck they Oscars, and fuck what they think of black art. What kills me is that you Negroes give your all to be validated by these white people in this Oscar committee. You motherfuckers won't even show up to a BET award. You look down on a BET award, won't show up to an NAACP award, but will break your goddamn neck to go sit up in a crowd full of white folks who do not want your black ass there in the first place. Fuck them and they Oscar. Like Jada Pinkett said, begging diminishes dignity. Why is it that we need a statue from a committee of white people to validate our work? Fuck them, they statue, the way they live, what they think of us. It's time that y'all give it up. And like Jada said, maybe if we start pulling back our resources, then they will see what our value is. Well, see, the issue is for me, I have zero interest in a bitch who don't want to love me seeing my value. Fuck them. Why are y'all begging to be accepted and begging to be validated by white folks? As if people of your own skin color validating you is not enough. So when you, when you start to look at it from that perspective, fuck an Oscar, it don't mean shit to me no way. Then this shit that's going on with the Oscar Academy will not bother you. And it shouldn't bother you. It shouldn't bother you. The proudest honor you should have is an honor bestowed upon you from people the color of your skin. Now, I know it's going to be some ignorant, unaware, unconscious bitch that's going to get in the comment section and say, but, but when you win an Oscar, you make more money, this, that, and the third. Girl, bad, I guess. And quiet as it's kept, honey, I said this back in 2014. Oscars for black people have been a goddamn curse. Look at Monique. Look at Jamie Foxx. Look at Holly. You know what I'm saying? First of all, they do not value black talent in Hollywood. Then when you get this Oscar, the assumption is that you're going to cost too much for whatever movie they're trying to make and you get priced out. Every bitch that got an Oscar ain't really did no real work since. They got Jennifer Hudson ass singing um, fucking... On the color purple on Broadway. And don't get me wrong. That's a good job. But she ain't making no Transformers money. Okay. She ain't making no. Um, she ain't making no Devil Wears Prada money. Okay. That, that lady having to get up and work every night. <clears throat> or at the curtain rise. To make her coins. Okay. Look at Monique. Child Hollywood ain't seen none of her since. Jamie Foxx ain't did nothing decent since race. So y'all stop being up in arms about these white people bestowing their arbitrary honor upon you. It is a fucking golden statue that ain't worth its weight in goddamn cotton. Moving right along, Janet Hubert. And like I said, both women had very valid arguments, but basically, or maybe they should have been presented by two different people in order for them to exist in the same light. Because Jada, much like Janet Huber said, it is funny that when your husband is the one that gets snubbed, now all of a sudden you want to come out of the woodwork and speak on the issue. And Jada, while you at it, I must bring up another point that my good friend Rico Chappelle Fashion Style has brought up. 
It's so funny how we pick and choose when we want to be conscious and pro-black because Rico pointed out the fact that all of you black artists that complain about being snubbed at the Grammys are the first people to run to white fashion houses and wear thousand dollar gowns from Givenchy and Versace and you won't wear a black designer or give an up and coming black designer an opportunity to shine and get that kind of exposure on the Oscar red carpet. So girl, I'm kind of side eyeing you right now because you can't pick and choose when you want to be pro-black. Now Janet Hughes Although you may have some very valid points, honey, we can't see them because the child, the cloud of bitterness is just blinding me, bitch. It's just blinding me. Aunt Viv, we can't take nothing serious that you say in regards to Will Smith and his wife because history has proven to us, bitch, you just bitter. You like Shantae Moore. Don't knock on my door, nigga. I'm just bitter. You are a bitter Betty, anything that come to the Smiths, you got something negative to say. Girl, Will Smith done your career 20 damn years ago and you are still on it. You have been reduced from one of history's biggest television features to a goddamn YouTube star. Girl, you down here scratching and surviving with me, honey, trying to make videos down to the YouTube. At least I'm on the up and up, <laughs> bitch. You don't came down real low. Girl, you can't. This is the thing that bothers me about Janet Hubert. Your celebrity light has dimmed so dark that the only time you get any shine is when you start in beef with somebody. I like Kenya Moore on the Housewives coming for Will Smith. Uh, in a previous YouTube video then coming for Jada now. Like, girl, is Bitter your new brand? Girl, you got that 50 Cent thing going on that the only way you get some shine is if you start a controversy and beef. Don't be Bitter, Aunt Viv. Get a roll. Because here's the thing. Talent will supersede and trump any institution. And if you bad as you say you is, it ain't no reason why your ass couldn't have been landing some old roles. I mean, shit. If Jennifer Lewis landed roles all up and down Hollywood playing that same old one-dimensional ass character. If Vivica Fox landed roles with her first, second, and third face. And if Gabrielle Union landed roles with uh, Carrie Washington with her one expression. Then it ain't no reason why you can't get no roles. Or at least go down there and try to get you a Tony down to the Broadway, Aunt Viv. So uh -uh, something in the milk ain't clean. I think you got a little schizophrenia mixed with bipolar to the left hand side. So like I said, what you said to Jada was very valid. But honey, the simple fact that the words were uttered from your lips, we cannot take you serious because it was rooted in a place of bitterness. Don't come for the Smiths unless they come for you where well, they already did and eradicated your ass. So y'all, those are my thoughts on the Oscars. I totally agree with Jada. You know, this whole feud with her and Janet is cute. It's funny. Well, it ain't even a feud because Janet... Uh, Jada too classy based to respond and plus she's sitting up on millions she ain't worrying about Janet but Janet did get y'all ass together when she said it's so funny how you want to speak out against the very system that you played a part of and the very system that helped you and your husband make millions see y'all hoes kid me when y'all want to be activists after you sitting up in the ever lap of luxury and like Janet said you and your husband got a production company that rarely hires any up and coming black actors and y'all are very part of the same system you not complaining about it's so funny how you don't make all your coins now you want to take a stand uh-uh honey we need 911 emergency reconnect the community that's the jada we need back yes strong jada pinky yes god see jada when tupac was fucking her ass baby yes god she was about the revolution she got with will or whitewashed ass and got into that scientology bullshit and we don't lost our sister girl y'all over there praying to tom cruise and gwyneth paltrow and they got y'all all fucked up in the game girl them scientology people gonna kill y'all ass i'm talking out on these oscar people y'all watch and see um, how quick something happened to Will and Jada Career for speaking out on them Oscar people. And quiet as it's kept, Jada. No tea, no shade. Your real claim to fame is your husband. And it do feel like you are speaking out on your husband's behalf doing his dirty work. Like I said, Aunt Bill pulled your whole card. But, you know, we just ain't going to take what she said with too much weight because of who it came from. But anyway, y'all, overall, learn from, learn from this. Take from Aunt Viv what you need, reject what you don't. Take from Jada what you need, reject what you don't. All in all, the bigger lesson in this is that if you were not sitting down somewhere waiting to be validated by white folks and their Oscar, you wouldn't be pressed about this shit one way or another. Um, in the meantime, I'm sitting here waiting on the BET Awards, and I wish like hell 
Soul Train will bring back the Lady of Soul Awards. Yes, God, honey. Jada, how about you and Aunt Bill work together and bring back the Lady of Soul Awards and let Erica Badu and the doll host it? Anyway, girl, I call you later. Power to the people. I have a dream. I say to you today, my friends, that in spite of the difficulties and the frustrations of the moment, I have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. Yes, God, honey, a bitch is cultured. Yes, God, I got my culture hair on. Claire, she gave me a little bit of Coretta Scott King to the right with a little Maya Angelou to the left. Because, baby, these girls, they rise, honey. You might write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. But, girl, it ain't no naps back here. This head is straight, and it rides. Pretty women wonder where my secret lies. Yeah, I'm cute and built to fit a fashion model size. But when I start to tell them, them hoes think I'm lying. I say, it's the span of my arm, the reach of my hips, the sway of my head, the curve of my lips. I am a woman. Phenomenally. Phenomenal woman. That's me. Bitch, I'm a bad bitch with that poetry. Yes, God, honey. Anyway, girl, I'll call you later. Bad.